Good morning. Before I get started today, I have to uh, give some massive thanks to many people. As you may have known, the Boss Garage have been running their international car show for the last couple of weeks and the winners have been announced. I didn't win. However, I did reach the top 25 in a couple of categories and Derek at Vice Grip Garage gave an extremely nice review of my project. Thank you very much, Derek. And also yesterday, Rich at The Boss did a run through of the top 25 finalists, if you like, which I was one of. And he also gave me a very nice review. So thank you very much for that. He also through some subscribers my way so I have many new subscribers to welcome to the channel and thanks for joining in. Please leave a comment, let me know what you're working on and uh, leave a link. I also have a face Facebook group that you're welcome to join in and show pictures because not everyone wants to make videos. So that's where we're at. Thank you very much for joining in and supporting my channel. Okay, today then. I want to get started on some door cards and possibly figure out some grab handles slash armrests for Bugsy. Let's get to work. So let me show you what we have currently inside the door. Nothing, basically. There is some metal structure I've got some soundproofing at the, the exterior wall, if you like. But I just want to cover up this big area here. Now, if you're new to the channel, just ignore the top half. I'm not having up and down windows. They're just going to come in and out. So all I'm thinking about doing just now is covering from here down to there. A hole there. And obviously, I need to make a grab handle. But for the moment, I just want to make some nice door cards. And I think my wife is going to cover them with some nice vinyl, possibly the same colour as the chairs, either the grey or the burgundy. We'll see where that goes. So let us take some measurements, cut out some hardboard, and see how we're going to attach it all, eh? So this is what we're going to use for the door cards. It's fairly simple hardboard, really cheap. So if I wreck it, I can make a better one without wasting too much money. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some measurements from the door. Not exact measurements at the moment. And then I'll maybe cut it out about an inch bigger than I need. And then take the bit I've cut out over to the door and just mark to make sure it's spot on-ish. Back in a sec. Right, I have my rough measurements. Remember this door card is not a perfect rectangle. The door kind of slopes forward as it goes down at the bottom. So as I say, I'm going to cut an inch bigger than I need and then take the board over to the door and just kind of trace around it. Very technical stuff. Let me get my jigsaw and we'll start destroying some hardboard.
So with a bit of luck, this will be now the perfect size. Lovely. So how do we attach it? Well then, that's a different story. I am going to use removable clips all around the perimeter and where the, the grab handle is going to be, namely in there, it will be attached in the centre as well. So let me show you how I'm going to use these clips I'm talking about. So I want to be able to clip the door cards on and have the clips hidden when they're covered. So we've got a few options there in this little box. Let me show you. Okay, different styles of door card clips. This one, this one, and this one. Now, because it's hardboard I'm using, I kind of want as big a surface area to grab the inside of the card as possible. That one looks like the biggest so far. I'll show you why in a sec. These ones are nice and neat, but very small surface area on the hardboard. So the chances are if you try and remove the hardboard, that could tear out. And then you've got this style, which is marginally, marginally bigger than the white one, but it's, it's kind of oblong shaped. And again, not a lot of grip on the hardboard. So it looks like we're going for these. And I'll show you how these work when I figure it out myself. But basically, you have to drill a, a hole, presumably about that size, in the hardboard. And then you would feed this in. And as you turn it, it expands the amount of surface area gripping the hardboard. At least that's how I think it works. But yeah, that looks like my best option. So, step one then. I need to put the door card on the door and mark the holes where I want it to connect to the door frame itself. Drill all the holes at the right uh, diameter. And then I need to drill the holes in the door itself for these clips to clip in. So let's do that then, eh? Okay, let's put this back on and mark some holes. Right, let's go try, drill one of these holes out and try one of those um, clips and see how that works. So I'm not altogether sure what size hole I need to drill for this. So let's start small and we can work our way up, okay? I'm gonna start with this size drill bit. The centre of the clip is roughly that size and maybe this will just cut into the hardboard itself and I don't need to drill a huge hole. The smaller the hole the better. I want as much of the clip catching on this hardboard as possible. So this is the... This is the outside of the card. This will be the side that's getting covered. So this has to come in from the other side. You can see how fragile this board is when you start putting power tools near it. Let's see if that goes in there.
Right, needs to be a bit bigger than that. Um, I think what I actually have to do, I think I have to elongate this hole. That would make sense. Better. Get a pliers, I think. Okay, that's actually in quite nice and tight. So let's check the other side. Okay, so that's what the... This will be the side that's getting covered. So it's actually quite nice and flush. It's not sticking away into the material that you'll be covering it with. And it's nice and tight on the other side. So yeah, we'll go with these pins. I need to take this out again, obviously. Drill the other holes in a similar fashion. And then mark the holes that I need to drill on the door frame itself. I'll just do I'll just do the two top ones just now, just to make we're all to make sure we're all still lining up. So I have just drilled the two corner holes for now. That one and the one over this side. I will mark them. And then we can clip them in. And if everything still lines up, we'll mark all the other holes to drill. Okay, so I'm going to mark there, mark there. a couple of holes. Right, I'll put these clips in the card and everything should just magically pop in place. Magically. Right, two clips in. Probably means I'm never going to get them out again. So there is a little gap between the hardboard and the door frame itself, but that's okay because any material that's going to be over that is going to get folded in behind it. So it's okay to have a little bit of a gap there. Okay then, so I just need to drill whatever other clip. I don't actually have a lot of these clips. I'll probably only get enough for maybe six on each so one in each corner and maybe one top and bottom for now unless i can get more of these clips i got these from ted one of my favorite subscribers actually i'll maybe ask ted if he's got any more because they're really ideal right i'll be back in a bit when all this is clipped in We have a door card, quite literally card on a door. Make sure the door still shuts. It does, amazingly. So obviously I'm not finished yet. Still got a couple more clips to put in, but it's still got to come off. I need to do the structure for the grab handle. 
and then I can hand these over. Well, when I say these, I mean this. I need to make the one for that side. And I can hand them over to my lovely wife and she can do something fancy with them. I don't even ask anymore. I just let her do stuff. The seats turned out pretty nice. So there'll be something like that. She'll probably go for the grey vinyl on the card and maybe the burgundy on the grab handle, which I still need to make. So that is my very basic door card design. With a bit of luck, this door will be exactly the same size as that one and I can just trace around the board to make this side. I'm never that lucky though. Right, that's all I'm doing for today. No, well, that's all you're seeing today. I'll get on with doing this, this other card and then I can pass them over to my wife to make some nice interior beautification. I need to work in the grab handles, so that's going to be the next thing I need to do. Right, finally, thanks again to everyone that's recently joined and obviously all my supporters that I've had since day one. I really appreciate your help and advice. And I will do my best to make this car roadworthy very soon. It's kind of roadworthy. Not quite at the moment. That's another story. Right, take care everyone. See you in the next one. Bye.